Hey fellow Backyard Boyers, Nick here. Now, I've been getting a lot of requests to make a machete or larger knife. And so today I'm going to see if I can forge one out of this old lawnmower blade. Now I've made big knives out of lawnmower blades before, but I wanted to try a slightly different technique that I haven't tried yet. So here we go. I start by hammering out a section of blade around one of the holes, and then begin hammering the hole shut. Now normally when I make a knife out of a lawnmower blade, I cut around or otherwise incorporate the hole into the design. But what I'm trying to do here is actually close the hole shut so that I can forge out the entire blade. Once the hole is closed, I start by flattening out the end of the blade and then draw it out so I can form my handle. As I go, I just concentrate my strikes in different areas to try and shape the handle, I'm trying to think what looks comfortable and I'm basically going to try and see if I can make this whole blade without doing any profile grinding. Once I've got my handle done, I start working on the transition into the blade and the main part of the blade. Then I heat up the center and start flattening the center holes. Now the problem with flattening out the center holes like this is that compared to the spot just below and just above, the center hole especially and actually all the holes in the blade contain less material. So while I'm flattening out and closing up these holes, I'm also trying to draw out the material above and below so that I can maintain blade thickness. This is going to end up making the blade just a little bit longer once everything's drawn out. Now that the hole is finally closed, I just finish up this section and then finish up some of the other areas to get a nice finish before I start working on the end. Again, I'm just closing up the hole in the blade and also trying to, in this section, not make it as narrow. I'm trying to keep it as wide as possible because I want this blade to sort of swell outwards and have a little more of a belly to it. So once that's closed, I start forging out the tip, flattening it out, shaping it, Just alternating between striking the side and striking the face and slowly drawing it out into a nice point. Now that I've got my point, it's a little thick, so I'm just hammering it flat, drawing it out on both sides, both the edge and the back. Now I'm working on my main inside bevel, and as I work on it, going down the blade, I'm actually starting to straighten it out. Because as I increase the amount of bevel on the inside curve, it slowly forces the blade straight. With the bevel established, I clean up the curve in preparation for the final pass. I bring the point forward so that I have a nice forward curve, and then start working on the width, thickness, and the taper of the blade. I'm trying to do as much as I can because the only grinding I'm going to do is on the edge and the bevels. So the thicker areas where there aren't any holes in the blade need to be drawn out a little bit more 
and any excess material is being drawn to the edge. Once I've got everything cleaned up and flattened out the way I want to, I start working on the handle. I use the horn of the anvil to give myself nice curves so that I don't have to do any grinding to finish up the handle. I'm just hammering here and there trying to get everything nice. I want the handle to be nice and smooth and I'm also trying to go for a nice smooth taper. Seeing this blade fully forged, it's definitely a sword. So that's it for this part. In the next part, we'll work on grinding the bevels, heat treatment, putting handle scales on, and then chopping some stuff. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.